With all the distractions for salespeople, prospects are receiving far fewer phone calls than ever before. This is really a huge opportunity for you. While it's tough to actually get people on the phone, I fully acknowledge that, that these days it is tougher, it is by far the most effective way to get their attention. In this video, I'm going to share with you three super easy phone sales tips. Check it out. Number one, be the opposite of what's expected. So good prospects are, even though they're getting fewer calls than ever before, they're still getting calls all the time and they're getting them every single day. So the second that you're like every other salespeople to call on that prospect, you are dead on arrival. And just think about it yourself, right? You're at home or you're at the office and you get a call and someone sounds like every other salesperson you've ever heard. How are you going to react? The wall will go right up. It's time to lower that enthusiasm and really be more distinct in your approach. How can you slip through the radar so the prospect is thinking to themselves, I'm not entirely sure up front that this is even a salesperson. Number two, be provocative. One way to be distinct is by being provocative. Most salespeople have been taught that you always want to make the prospect feel good or you want to make the prospect excited. But actually, nowadays, being provocative is more likely to get their attention. So try telling them about an issue that maybe they're facing or tell them some of the challenges that you're seeing amongst their competitors and find out if they're dealing with any of those challenges. And finally, be willing to challenge them on the phone if they're pushing back. You don't have to be a softie, you don't have to be a pushover. You can be tough, and what that's going to do is set you apart from your competitors. Number three, have contingencies. Most prospects are not going to want to stay on the phone with you right away. And a prospect that is difficult is going to scare off most salespeople. But if you're willing to hang in there and you're prepared to come back, it's actually one of the best ways to get to a really high quality prospect who's likely to push back and try to get you off the phone. So be ready to respond to someone who's trying to get you off the phone with, with a fallback. For example, if they tell you that they can't talk right now, try this. Say, all right, that sounds fair enough, but can I ask one last question before I hang up? And what you're going to find when you ask the, can I ask one last question before I hang up, is that's an immediate pattern interrupt and you're going to break that person's train of thought and they're gonna say, sure. And then that question that you come in with is going to be something powerful and provocative. So there are three super easy phone sales tips. Which of those tips did you find most useful? I wanna hear from you. Be sure to share below in the comment section and I will be sure to respond to every single comment that I can get to. I love seeing what you have to say. And if you enjoyed this video, click right here for a free ebook on 25 tips to crush your sales goals. Seriously, it's an amazing, amazing ebook and it's free. Just click right here. Also, if you got some value, please like this video on YouTube because that really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here to get access to a new video just like this one each week.